Is that the question we're starting with? So I discovered the science of glucose and it helped me heal physically and mentally. And then I showed my friends and my family everything I had learned. So I started showing them the studies, the science that had just come out, my own data from my own glucose monitor. And they started using the hacks as well. And then they healed themselves. So they asked me if I could put all this information online so they could share it with their community. So I started an Instagram account and it was not called Glucose Goddess before. It was my name, Jessie Inchuspe. And I started posting on it and then it grew. People got more and more interested. I was asked to test more things, post more stuff. And here we are three years later. I can't answer that question. That's like asking me, who's my favorite child? Who's my favorite cat type of chocolate? I don't know. It's tough. I like them all. I think the one that has changed my life the most is the savory breakfast. Switching to that has been huge, but I love the vinegar hack. I love putting clothing on your carbs. I love green starters. I love eating foods in the right order. I, I like them all. Can't decide. Oh, this? This is apple cider vinegar because you guys, it turns out that apple cider vinegar has an amazing effect on our glucose levels. If you have just one tablespoon of this, either in a tall glass of water or on your vegetable starter, you can curb the glucose spike of your meal by 30%. Very cool, very effective, especially if you're somebody who suffers from cravings, this will help you a lot. There's one thing that I did that really helped me when I first started working on glucose is I created a document on my computer that was like my progress diary. So every month I would go into the document and write just a couple sentences about how the project was going. So, you know, the first few months it just said, I'm thinking about glucose science. Month number two, I said, I started an Instagram account and I have five followers. And you just keep a record of that because then when you encounter difficulties or when you're not motivated anymore, you can look back and see how far you've come. And for me, it was really, really nourishing. I do the hacks most of the time because I just feel so much better when I do. If I'm trying to be creative, if I'm working, if I want to really enjoy my life to the fullest, I, I do the hacks because they make my body and my mind feel really good. But you know, then again, sometimes I'll just wake up, it's a Sunday, I really want to eat chocolate ice cream for breakfast and I'll do it, like it's fine because sometimes I just feel like doing that. Thank you.